So previously when discussing enlargements and reductions, we had our shapes being changing sizes but with the same ratio, with the same proportion. So if I had a triangle which was being enlarged by a scale factor 2, um, now it's all of its lengths we're going now to have a length, a new length which was twice as large as the original one, right? Um, however, what if we only stretch one of those directions and we keep the other one constant? So that's where the stretch comes, right? Um, so basically, what we have here, we'll have an invariant line and according to that line nothing is going to change right so for that line um, if it observes you can see all those coordinates they would still be the same on this line however if we get a perpendicular line here then those distances they will change indeed so let's let's take a look at a, one example so there will be two types of stretches stretches with invariant x-axis right so invariant at x-axis and we also have uh, invariant for the y-axis alright so again uh, let's take a look at a couple examples and that's gonna be much much clearer so for stretch with invariant x axis, um, what's going to change? What's going to happen is none of those x coordinates here are going to change; they will remain the same. Um, so let's say that I'm, I've got a scale factor two. So my point here: let's say that this is one, two. This is three, right? One and two. So my original length here, my original height was one of this point. Now the new height, since this is scale factor two, is going to be twice as it was before. So it was one, now it's two. This point was two. Let, let's call this A, B, C. So this is my A prime now. Now where would B prime be? Well, B was two, so now it's going to rest at four. Again, this is x invariant x axis. So you can see that the x coordinates they won't change. So this is my b prime. What about c prime? Well, the height of c prime was one, so scale factors two. C prime is going to be at height two. So if I close now, if I connect all those points, there we go. That would be our triangle with invariant x-axis and scale factor 2. What about if we are invariant um, to the with invariant y-axis? Now the y-coordinates are the ones which are not going to change. So this 1 and 2 they will remain the same. So let's label our triangle ABC. Now A had coordinate x 1. So our, our A prime since our scale factors 2, A prime will be now in coordinate 2. B had x equal to 1, so B prime will be at x equals 2. C was at 3, so it's going to get a bit further away, up to 6, right? So twice as far as it was to our y-axis. Now if we connect those points, we would have our new triangle now, which is invariant y-axis. Now, mathematically, the transformations that we're, that we're doing here are, so we have x and y being transformed. Now, since this is 
invariant x, x is going to be the same, and y is going to be stretched. Here, with invariant y-axis, it's the opposite. So y is going to be the same. So this is kx, y. Now, another situation is, what if we have a line? Right? So what if we have something like this? Well, there are numerous ways for us to solve this. Uh, one, one way that you could do it is just by looking, visualizing how would the line change by picking some points. That would be a more experimental way. So if you draw this line, how would it look like? So this is your gradient, which is rise over run. So for each point that you go forward here, you would go twice as fast up. Right, so it would be roughly like this. Right, um, that would be my line. Now, if I'm doing a x, so invariant in the x axis. So how would it look like? Right, so since it's invariant to the x axis. I'm going to map all x and y's into x. So x, they don't change, and k, y. So I'm basically multiplying every height that I have by my scale factor. So I will indeed make this steeper, make this line even steeper. And we could try this out by picking some points. So in my previous function, this one, y equals 2x, what would I have? Let's say x equals 0, y equals 0, x equals 1, y equals 2, and that's a line. So 2 and 4. What now when I stretch it? So I don't need the x. I'll just do y prime right those would be the new points so my point was zero it's still zero I can multiply by anything now two uh, my point was two now my points going to be stretched so twice as tall so that's four my new point here it was four now it's stretched so twice eight so we could also plot the points and and well use this table to design our graph and check how it looks like so a, a couple closing examples. So find the image of this point 3 and negative 1 under a stretch with invariant x axis and scale factor 4. Well, it's really simple. So we'll have this point undergoing this transformation which will be 3 and k times negative 1, right? Uh, but we know the value so we can just put it in. So k is 4, so 4 times negative 1, that's going to be negative 4. That's done. So the next example, find the image of this triangle ABC if A is 1, 2, B is 4, 1, C, 2, 5. Um, they are those ver vertices and it's stretched with A, invariant line, Y equals 1 and scale factor equals 2. So the difference here is that we're using a line now. So we have a line which is y equals 1. That's a constant height, right? Oh god. Okay, so assume that's horizontal. So we've got that line. It's my Alright, so let's assume this is our line, y equals 1. So I've just decided to rearrange a few things um, and make the visualization better because it was going to be a bit small here. Now, um, so here we've got our triangle. I've just plotted the coordinates. So 1, 2, 1, 2, b, 4, 1, 4, 1, and c, 2, 5. Right now, I've got this line, y equals 1, 
in my scale factors too. This is my invariant line. So basically what's going to happen here, I'm going to measure all the distances from this line. So what I have to take into account is the difference. So for example, my point A is one unit away from my line y equals 1. So since my skill factor is 2, this original distance to the line was 1, so now it's going to be 2. Now point C, or well let's do point B first. Well point B is in the line. So since this is our invariant line, uh, nothing in the line changes. So this point B is not, is not going to change. That's our invariant line. Now points, so B prime will be here at the same spot. Now what about C prime? Our height was 5, which was far um, 4 units away from our line. So we should be now 8 units away from our line. So our new point is 4 units higher. So C prime would lie up here at the height of 9. And then, if we connected those points, we would have our final stretched triangle. If you notice, it's just like if you get a bubble gum wrap and you stretch it in one direction, just like plastics, when you um, when you take away food, right, and you wrap it in plastic, it stretches in one direction but not in another one. So that's basically how stretches work.